Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the point on the plane AX plus BY plus CZ equal to P at which F is given as X square plus Y square plus Z square as a stationary value. And we have to find the stationary value of the function using the Lagrange's method of undetermined multipliers. So here, the given function F is in terms of X, Y and Z. So F of X, Y, Z is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square and g of x comma y comma z we have to write the plane equation ax plus by plus cz and we have to take the p to the other side now we have to write the auxiliary function the auxiliary function is capital f of x comma y comma z comma lambda and capital F is made up of two part one is F of x comma y comma z plus lambda into g of x comma y comma z so the capital F of x the auxiliary function becomes x square plus y square plus z square plus lambda into ax plus by plus cz minus p. So we have to find the partial differentiation with respect to x. First term is 2x, other things are constant plus lambda into a and rest of the terms are constant. Then partial differentiation with respect to y will be 2y plus lambda into b and partial differentiation with respect to z is 2z plus lambda into c. As per the working procedures and condition we have to equate this to 0. Then from the first part when I take lambda a equal to this 2x will go to the other side and even this a I can bring it to the denominator. In the same way from the second part it is minus 2y by b and from the third part lambda is minus 2z by c. Let's take this as equation 1, 2 and 3. Now let's equate all the three lambda. So minus 2x by a equal to minus 2y by b equal to minus 2z by c. Everywhere we have minus 2 and that can be cancelled. So the rest of the terms we have is x by a equal to y by b equal to z by c. Now we have to take that plane equation. This is like a condition ax plus by plus cz equal to p. So let's take the condition ax plus by plus cz equal to p. Now we are going to find x by converting everything in terms of x. So ax will keep it plus b. Instead of y, if I take these two and if I bring the b here, bx by a. So already there is a b. Then into bx by a. Then coming to cz. Once again by taking first and third. Let's write here the first we have taken y as bx by a then by taking first and third cx by a so already there is one c then the value of z is into cx by a equal to p now let's take lcm the lcm is a so this will become a square x plus b square x plus c square x which is equal to p. So if you take x square common we get a square plus b square plus c square equal to this a I can cross multiply with this p. Now x is sorry this is x when x is taken common we get these terms. Now x is a p by a square 
plus b square plus c square. Now, when I substitute the value of x here, that is, we get y. Y equal to b x by a. So y equal to b x by a. So b by a into x. X is a p by a square plus b square plus c square and we can cancel this a. So now we get the value of y. Already we got the value of x which is a p by a square plus b square plus c square. Now we got y equal to b p by a square plus b square plus c square. In the same way by substituting the x value in z. Z is here which is cx by a. So z is equal to cx by a. Again we are going to substitute x value. So c by a into x is a p by a square plus b square plus c square. Now by cancelling these two we get c p by a square plus b square plus c square. So z equal to cp by a square plus b square plus c square and we got the values of x, y and z. So this is the stationary point. So the stationary point is ap by a square plus b square plus c square comma bp by a square plus b square plus c square and cp by a square plus b square plus c square. So we got the stationary point. But in the question, they also want the stationary value of f. So we have to substitute x, y, z in the function f. So f is equal to x square plus y square plus z square. When you substitute the value of x, since it is square, it will become a square p square divided by a square plus b square plus c square whole square. Then b square p square divided by again a square plus b square plus c square whole square then plus c square p square divided by a square plus b square plus c square whole square. Now we can take p square by a square plus b square plus c square whole square common. After taking common, the first term remaining is a square, second term only b square and third term only c square. But this entire term can be cancelled with this square because this is a square plus b square plus c square, this is a square plus b square plus c square whole square. After cancelling, we left with p square by a square plus b square plus c square. And this is the stationary value of the function f. Yeah.